Hello friends. So this is a field kit. When you go for the flying of your rubber powered model, these are all the things you are going to need. You will see on one side there is a hand drill machine, then there is a lubricant bottle, then pevicol bottle, scissor is there, and another one yellow is there. That is a winder, rubber winder. So these are all the things you are going to need. Some pieces of paper you are going to need, and your model. the rubber as well as the uh, propeller now you are going to need uh, the a4 size paper ordinary paper cut a strip of about 1 inch out of it and then you have to cut the three pieces of that approximately of 3 cm length so three pieces will be cut then all of them will be made of the same size and then they are for the attachment to the aircraft surfaces as the control surfaces apply pevicol on to the trailing gauge of the right side wing then spread it evenly a very thin layer and attach the 3 cm paper piece onto it press it well and allow to dry now do the same thing on the fin attach a piece there on the fin which will work as the rudder press it well and leave for drying After this invert the plane upside down and then apply pevicol the third piece you have to attach to the stabilizer to function as the elevator after drying cut the excess paper leaving about 10 mm that is 1 cm of the control surface because we don't need very big control surface just 10 mm after the trading edges will be sufficient so cut the excess paper and make your control surface is ready push the propeller assembly onto the nose now lubricate the rubber loop apply little bit of the solution and smear it well by crushing the loop and the lubricant properly into your hand after lubricating clean the hands properly now hook the loop into the front hook and then after that keep it onto the stabilizer see that the rubber loop is about 1 inch longer than the distance between the two hooks so this is a hook that you will you can buy in uh, any hardware shop fix it into the chuck properly and make it quite tight this will be a very easy and useful winder for winding the rubber now hook the knot onto the winder hook and start winding by stretching the rubber at least 3 to 4 times the original length of the loop now pinch the rubber hard about 1 inch from the loop so the turns after that will be unwound and take that loop and hook it properly into the metal hook which is provided as the anchor hook and to the plane
For books by Mr. Madhav Khare, visit www.jotsnaprakashan.com. For many other products from paper gliders up to remote control planes, exhibitions, workshops, lectures, etc., visit www.elerios.in or write to elerios.aeroclub at gmail.com. Music